And now turning to this topic that affects all of us here, Surgeon General Dr. Vivek Murthy is calling for warning labels to be used on social media platforms. He says social media is associated with significant mental health harms for young people, especially calling it a mental health crisis. So we want to talk more about this issue. We have the medical director for the California region for the Betty Ford Center, Dr. Teresa Jackson, joining us. Dr. Jackson, great to see you. Thank you for being here. Good morning. Good morning. So let's talk about social media and young people. If we can get right into it, how does it affect the mental health of so many young people? Well, the young brain is still developing. And so the Surgeon General report that came out last May said that children 13 to 17, over 95% of them are using social media for more than three hours. Mm -hmm. And young girls say they feel addicted to social media. Um, scrolling through social media lights up the same parts of our brain that drugs and alcohol do. So the word addicted could be appropriate. It's a pleasure reward center of your brain. And so in the young developing brain, it creates anxiety and depression when they don't have that um, stimulus of social media. Wow, the same as drugs and alcohol. I did not realize that, that was the same part of the brain that's impacted. Uh, so these mental health issues can lead to substance abuse disorders. You're there at the Betty Ford Center. Can you talk more about that connection? Yes, the, the young brain, brain is very vulnerable. So if you um, don't develop the different parts of your brain, it does put you at risk for other forms of addiction like drugs and alcohol. The Surgeon General is really saying we should put warning labels on social media akin to warning labels on cigarettes and alcohol. Mm -hmm. um, the young brain also, when kids are using so much social media, more than three, three and a half hours per day, they're often staying up very late at night right. and they're not getting enough sleep. And sleep is vital for mood to help with anxiety and depression. So really the warning label is um, a moderation kind of warning for parents. Um, I think you can use social media in moderation. The kind of magic hour is less than three hours a day. Uh, I like the idea of families having media free time or a family plan around no electronics at certain parts of the day. Okay, so that's some advice for parents. Limit the time that kids are on this. Uh, do you think having warning labels on social media could help uh, lower the amount of time we're on this and the impact on mental health? Yes, I do. I think it's been very effective for alcohol and cigarettes. And the idea is if you see that warning label, maybe encourage your children to put down their phones and interact with other people because mm -hmm. the the opposite of addiction is really community. And so if kids are using their phones less in isolation, perhaps they're participating in sports or playing a musical instrument or being involved with other people in the community. Yeah, I have to think how isolating uh, it would be. I mean, when you're young, obviously that's when you form these friendships and lifelong bonds, uh, but it is not just kids. I can tell you, obviously from experience here, we're on our phones all the time, adults are. Uh, so we also, of course, can be negatively impacted. Any adv advice for adults? Yeah, put that phone down for several hours a day and get outside. We live in a beautiful state. Um, some media free time, a good way adult, you could test yourself is to put your phone away and kind of see how many times you reach for it to show how much <laughs> our brains are now kind of addicted yeah. to having constant input. Yeah, we may not want to know, but it's important to be aware of it. Dr. Jackson, thank you very much for joining us this morning with this important conversation. You're welcome. My pleasure. All right.